Hello everybody, welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash and today we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum and discuss what's happening with it and how it is reacting to the CPI data, right? So before we get into that, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated to the hottest trends in the crypto market, make sure to also click on the bell icon. You can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I put out, make sure to give me a follow as well at Mangyako with a zero at the end. Right, uh, you can join my Telegram group where I often post setups, uh, not as often as I do on my Discord group, which you can see here. Right, uh, I posted the Bitcoin scalp that I took earlier today, and a lot of lot other setups basically. Right, so let's let's get into Ethereum. Right, uh, I haven't haven't been trading Ethereum as often as I'd like, but uh, so what's happening right now is that the price is kind of getting rejected off of the 1730 major major. It's a major significant level. Uh, it can be seen here on a on a macro time frame, right? The price did form some sort of a, a, a doji on a three-day candlestick, but on a one-day time frame, you can see it it did it did kind of produce some sort of uh, try to break above it 1730 resistance level, but kind of failed, and is now on a downtrend, kind of similar to what happened here, right? Honestly, I was expecting it to go back uh, go all the way up to 2000 before the merge, and the merge schedule to take place what. Uh, God oh, damn, excuse me. What, what happened to the countdown? Google was in on the, okay, this is weird. This is extremely weird. There was a countdown from Google yesterday. Yep, so the merge is gonna happen in just one day, 14 hours, 37 minutes. Uh, and as a result, like because of this, I expected uh, Ethereum price to kind of go hard and at least form a double top here. But it seems like we're not going to be getting that. Uh, and yeah, so Ethereum price is dropping right now, and I'm, I'm going to expect uh, it to come down to 14, 1430. Uh, as, as explained yesterday, right? Like it's uh, there's not a lot, there's not a lot of changes since our uh, last discussion yesterday. Uh, we could potentially get a some sort of cushion around 1450, 1430. And then uh, the next important level is 1280. And the reason why 1280 is important can be seen in this particular chart here. Uh, Ethereum price did consolidate quite some time around 1280 for quite, uh, around the 1280 resistance level. And once the price broke above it, there hasn't technically been a retest, but the price did manage to rally quite a bit. Right, so now that the price has gotten rejected at the 1730 level again, uh, we can expect this move to come back down and you know, fill this FEG that was present here at 1290. It's a 1290, 1280 uh, is is an extremely important level that I feel like uh, Ethereum price is going to retest next, right? Beyond this, the 1080 level also seems like an important level. Uh, so, although I'm not sure if it's going to break down just yet, we need to wait for Bitcoin's confirmation. But yeah, 1280 seems like a pretty good uh, resting place for Ethereum uh, for now. So that is pretty much it for Ethereum, guys. If you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.